One FC Friday fights. We got another one. Muay Thai happening right now. Sexan, that's always a good name. 51 and 20. Seems like that's almost everybody's record on this card. Sexan, yeah. Good name. Okay. 60 and 5. Great record. Puang Long. Puang Long? Maybe. Pretty much. I don't say that with disrespect. I say that with, I have no idea how to say it right. And we don't got time to learn how to say it right right now. Because this is the first time I watched this fight. And we're watching it together. We've done the whole card so far. So make sure you go back and watch some of those earlier fights. There were some amazing ones. Some of the best Muay Thai fights that I've ever seen have happened on this card. And right away. Oh! Looks like Paul Long's landing a lot of good shots right off the bat. He's got good hands, great knees. Artie looks a lot more dynamic. Good feint to set up the boxing. Smart. To do that that this early, that's rare in fighting. Good knee. Elbow down the middle. He's hitting them with every single tool that he has. Knees, elbows, boxing, kicks. There it is. All right. What do you want to get hit with? He's got it for you. Wow. Amazing start. Sexan is really falling apart already. He looks like sort of panicked on the inside here. He needs to start fighting a lot smarter if he even wants a chance. Quan Long has amazing striking. He's dynamic in every angle. Wow. Good step in knee. Look at the jab. Man, the jab is so underrated and underused in Muay Thai. When you see a guy that has a good jab, they really set themselves apart. Now, mind you, you got so many tools, it's hard to you know focus on any one specifically, but his jab is beautiful. Straight down the pipe, right through the back of his opponent's head. Quan Long is a force. Good body kick. Right, and look at all the levels. He's going head, body, head, body. With the hands, with the legs, with the knees, with the elbows. Damn, Sexan's getting manhandled. If he got a finish at this point, I'd be shocked. But it looks like Pong Long's going to run away with this, no problem. Every time he gets that jab off, nothing makes me happier. I love uh, those very subtle, clean techniques that just make everything look so much prettier. And of course, that's going to be the jab. But man, the amount of layers that Paul Long has to his striking is phenomenal. He looks like a... I don't know, a well-rounded boxer who could do kickboxing, who could do Muay Thai. Like, he is a striking phenom. Sexan's going to have a lot of trouble trying to figure out what to do next round. He got hit with a lot of shots from a lot of different angles. What do you tell him, you know, in that corner? Comment what you would tell Sexan going into the second round. Because that is a hard round to follow. There's a lot coming at you from every angle. He's really getting picked apart from every facet of his striking.
Let's see it. Oh. Again, right away. Two different round kicks. Switch kick, classic roundhouse kick. Good jab at the middle. Elbow, round kick to the body. Clinch up. Short knee. Jab hook. Uppercut hook. Elbow, step in elbow. One, two. High kick, cross. Uppercut. Elbow, high kick. Like, just naming off the strikes as he's hitting them, it's phenomenal. Like, there's so many layers. All right, and you just keep switching it every single time. All right, it's one thing when you find a hole in your opponent and you're, you know, doing a lot of striking to try to expose that hole and land that big power shot and try to finish the fight. It's a whole other thing when you're so dynamic that your opponent has no answer for any of your striking. You can almost do whatever the hell you want. Yeah, beautiful elbow. All right, one, two. It gives them almost no option, right? You just continue to implement your strategy, and if anything changes, then you can evolve. All right, but at this point, just keep doing what you're doing, and there's no way you can lose the fight. All right, just keep your head on your shoulders and keep unloading these good shots. Wow, another great body kick. Short clinch, knee up the middle, jab hook. All right, Sex Hand just taking shots. He doesn't got an answer for it. This is rough. You gotta appreciate real striking skill when you see it. And Puan Long is maybe one of the cleanest strikers we've seen on this channel when it comes to Muay Thai. In terms of being dynamic and having a variety of strikes and just this unbelievably well-rounded offense, man, it's hard to beat that. Sex is not bad, but once I get fixated on how clean a fighter looks, it's hard to get off of it. You just got to keep appreciating everything that he's doing. And he's just not pulling away from a good head movement there. All right, checking the low kick. All right, a little counter off the overhand. Looks like he's got a cut in the top of his uh, forehead there. All right, but he just keeps landing shots. Getting countered a little bit, but Sextan lands two. He lands five. And oh, what was the other guy's name? He had a hard name. They were both tatted up, though. River Nas, the Australian. He fought a Thai bantamweight division. Go watch that fight. I'm going to tag it if I remember to put it in here. But, yeah, River Nas. He's good. Head kick to the cross. That's amazing. Yeah, it sounds like the guys are appreciating exactly what I'm talking about here. Sex Hand's just not dynamic enough to keep up with this, and he doesn't have the chops to counter it. Yeah. Puan Long is... Uh, way too dynamic way too fast and seems to have everything that you need to be successful in Muay Thai his 60 and 5 record makes sense wow here we go come on just screaming unloading on each other nice Listen to the power coming out of both of them. They're both screaming into these strikes now. Like, it really is just full commitment from both of them to try to finish this thing. Especially Sex and He doesn't have an option. He's got to do anything he can to try to win this fight. But he's got heart. 
you got to appreciate the shit out of a guy who just won't give up. He just keeps walking forward and will always put the heat on his opponent. Oh, good body shot to the overhand by Sexan. Finally finding a moment here in the third round. This is good stuff. Looks like Puan Long is uh, maybe getting a bit tired. He's definitely slowing down, and he's not getting as many options as he once had in the first and the second round. Now Sexan's making him work for it just a little bit harder, just staying in his face, unloading shots every chance that he gets. But he's still getting his ass kicked, I'll be honest. But you gotta appreciate the heart. You gotta appreciate the heart. That's amazing. Come on, guys. Keep it up. Let's go. Oh, caught him on the way down. That wasn't ruled a knockdown. That's crazy to me. He head kicked him. On the way down. That should have been a count. Mind you, he's still in this thing. All right, he refused to get finished. And you got to appreciate that. But once they're weathered like this into the third round, it's really hard to shock their body into becoming knocked out. I feel like that's sort of the response when you get these earlier knockouts. Like, either a guy's so exhausted that he just can't take a punch and it absolutely kills him, or it's so shocking that it knocks him off his feet. Right? He never saw it coming and it absolutely kills him. Right. But Sexam was just at that point where he just keep taking shots and walking forward. And it really, who knows what it would have taken to put him out of that ring. But this is an obvious win for Puan Long. Good knee to the body. Both guys really, really tough. It's amazing what the human body can endure. When you're watching fights like this, where they just keep going, nobody's giving up. It's phenomenal. Kind of said his name, right? Hey, that is another fight from 1FC Friday Fights. We're watching every single fight off this card from start to finish, and we're talking about them. We're breaking them down. I'm giving you my reaction and commentary. So if you haven't seen the other fights, make sure you go watch them. If not, just go watch this whole card yourself or watch it with me. That's just as fun, maybe a bit better. I don't know. But anyway, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and we're on to the next video.